Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to show you how to reset the password on a Higvision recorder or a camera. Right, if you try to enter your password in a few too many times, you'll get this sort of message on the screen. And if you do it too many times, you'll be locked out. So we need to go and reset the password. Um, and what we need to do is go and get um, a little tool from the internet. You can get Google up if you like, but um, we want to get it from the Higvision website and the tool's called SADP. Uh, just go ahead and download it, make sure it's the latest version and get it installed on your computer. Once you've got it installed on your computer, it should look a little bit like this. Uh, just a little, little refresh and we can go ahead and just sort by device type because we're looking for a particular recorder and that recorder is there. So if I just go click on it and just select it, what I need is another, the other dialog box, which is just on the right, if you don't see it, it's a little arrow and it'll pop up and show the details of the recorder. We can change the admin password, we don't know it. So we're gonna to have to click on this button down here, which is forgot password. Uh, and at this point, we're gonna export an XML file. So we just click on export and it'll download it to our PC. I've got a nice little folder called password reset on my desktop. I'm just gonna go and select it there. And that's me exported it. Um, so let's just go and get the file explorer up to see, there it is there. So what we have to do now is just send that over to us here at ADI. There'll be a, a message on the screen showing you where to send it to. Uh, and then you'll get a, another file back to reset it. Right, once that's done, I'm going to put that file back in my same location so I know where it is. I'm going to go over, back over to the SADP tool and click on import file, click on the browser. Uh, and just get that file that I've just been received. And then I've now got the chance to import a nice new password, which I'm not going to forget. Uh, I'd have to repeat it, of course. And if we need to reset the camera passwords, we can click on that little button right down at the bottom there. And then we can click on confirm. And that's us. We have now reset the password on our recorder. And I'm now just going to go and log in now and just check it works. And there we have it, we're logged in. Right, so at this point, it's probably a good idea to set some other security questions up because we often get this. Um, so we click on system, user management, and go over to the admin user. And when we click on the admin user and click on the edit button, we'll go down to account security and we can set some of these extra parameters that we're often asked when we try to reset the password, which are often forgotten about. So I'm just going to enter the nice, some, some nice simple ones for us. Just going to put ADI in there. Just going to fill the same question in there, but you need to fill in something a bit more security wise. And then we can also add in a recovery uh, email address. And if we add in that recovery email address, we will be sent uh, the recovery link to that email address when it's done. Now, I've done all that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and log out. I'm just going to go and show you how that works. You can actually do it from the browser. So if you click on the, the link on the browser, it'll ask you to verify by security question. You can also do it from the main monitor as well. And you can put these new security questions in that you've set. Um, and then you can click next and it'll prompt you to put your nice new password in. And that's a quite a nice quick way of doing it. Uh, of course, the other method of doing it is to use the email and um, verification method so again you click on email verification click on the disclaimer uh, and what you can do you can either export that QR code and send it to the address there on the screen or you can use the application so if you've got the Hick connect app on your phone um, you can click on the app scan so let, let's just go and do that we've got the click on that QR code it gives you some instructions there but I'm just going to get my mobile phone up and I'm just going to do it now for you all right it's fairly straightforward you click on the plus key at the very top right hand corner and you scan the QR code and we go and find it on the screen and that's it really it's um, been reset it's been sent to Higvision and you'll receive an email with the verification code and that's where you put the verification code in at the bottom of the screen there and then you click next and then you'd be prompted to reset your password. So all's good. I hope that's helped. Thank you very much.